The man with the famous falsetto is back in Australia. Barry Gibb from the Bee Gees is bringing the music back home for a national tour to pay tribute to his late brothers. Our Sam Armitage sat down with him and his 92-year-old mum. The legend is back on home soil. Barry Gibb, the last surviving member of the Bee Gees in Australia for a very special tour. <laughs> The mythology tour takes Barry up and down the east coast performing his biggest hits. Does it get emotional though to be there without your brothers? Yeah, of course. But you, you try to you try to blank it out but it never works. You know, you try to just be whatever you are and whoever you are. But you know, I'm I'm always gonna be one of three. And uh, and that won't go away. Joining Barry's band is his son Steve and Maurice's daughter Samantha, both musicians in their own right. And it really is a family affair. Barry's mum is here too. Can I tell them how old you are, Barbara? Yes, of course you can. 92. Gee whiz, you're looking good. I don't feel any different, you know. <laughs> you must be very proud. Is this an exciting tour for you? Yes, yeah, it is. I'm very, very proud. I'm proud of the whole thing. It's very emotional. We've had a chat to Barbara. She is a firecracker, my goodness. Yeah. What's the best piece of advice she... The fact that she's still touring with you, she's been very involved. What was the best piece of advice that she gave you? Work the stage. I don't stand in one place too long. Uh, <laughs> and I think that was... The only thing I've ever heard her say is, 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 is uh, take the stage and own it. My father always used to stand at the back of the audience and go, you know, smile. You mm. know, and make gestures to us, you know. <laughs> so... <laughs> And you'd remember to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we, sort of, we sort of laughed. Next week, Barry returns to where he and his brothers grew up and where the music began, Redcliffe in Queensland. He'll unveil the Bee Gees Way, a walkway dedicated to the brothers' achievements and a life-size statue. Seeing that on that day is going to be probably the greatest the greatest day of my life apart from getting married, I would say. Uh, unbelievable. The Bee Gees' music is timeless. The Mythology album is still in the ARIA chart top 15 after 17 weeks. Proof the Bee Gees' music is as strong as ever. I spoke to my mother this morning and I told her I was coming to interview you and she All said, right. oh, oh, the Bee Gees, oh, Barry. And oh. yet I still know your music. You know, people younger than me still know your music. You must get a kick out of that, but I it just really keeps do. going. I think it's wonderful, you know, because so few groups have that kind of that, that kind of longevity. You know, we were children on television here. We were on Bandstand and Sing, Sing, Sing with Johnny O'Keefe and, and The Go Show in Melbourne. And uh, So we saw all these things that young people today have no idea about. But away from the spotlight, the most important thing in Barry's life is family. Barry's about to become a great uncle again. Robin's son is set to welcome his first child. Family's just growing and growing, and uh, and that's a positive thing. It's just such a positive thing. And are they all musical? I hope so. I mean, you know, you, you never know where it's going to pop up. I mean, like with Sammy and Stephen, and uh, and I said I suspect it'll pop up somewhere else again, but it's in the genes. What a legend! Isn't it great? 70s music. disco is my favourite. Really? Yeah, yeah. What, Donna Summer? Yes. Pointer Sisters? Yes. All that sort of mm, Pointer Sisters part chocolate. of that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Barry Gibbs Mythology Tour kicks off in Sydney on Friday. All the dates are on our website.